hey guys welcome to my channel my name is Ludney and today I bring you a new video where we're gonna talk about weddings so this is gonna be like a series of videos on how to prepare your wedding and uh, how to do things on Canva for your wedding if that's something that you are planning to do or if you want to be a little bit more hands-on that you want to like do your own uh, let's say invitation do your own yacht sign stuff like that and I'm gonna be showing you how I do them uh, on Canva very simple mines are gonna be in French so I'll show you English version of them also and uh, yeah so if you're interested in seeing this type of videos keep watching so for today's video is gonna be focused on the invite just how to do to use the basics of Canva to modify a little bit of like everything and to do your own wedding invite using Canva like I did So let's say you wanna do an invite. We're gonna write invite invitation. When you write invitation, this is what you see. You see there's a lot of different invites. Some of them are paid already and stuff like that. And you can use some of them. You need to have a pro account. And I'm gonna show you what I did, but like I'm not gonna give you my exact invites. It's gonna be something that's similar to what I did on the same palette. So you choose the palette of colors that you like, okay? Because like, let's say um, we want something bright. It's a wedding. We something like that. Let's say, but we're gonna change it to make it better for the look that we want. So you see it here there's already like a flowers let's say we don't like those flowers we can delete them basically and then change this completely since it's not a save it date it's an invite we're not gonna we're gonna put probably let's say invite invitation i don't know if you want to invite invitation but you can let's say we want to change the colors of the whole Outlook. I'm gonna say pop white, like something bright, something. Let's say we want like a different color. We're gonna go here and choose the color, the exact color that we want. So it's something bright, but not too bright. Something like that. Okay, it's very similar to the colors that I choose for my own wedding. So let's so we did this, and then we're gonna go here to change the whole the whole number but you see this is a little bit like a um, beige color let's say we want to choose like my name is Ludney I'm gonna put my name you change your name you can put the font that you want let's say uh, my fiance name let's say you just wanted to put like um, something like that uh, your fiance name like that let's say and um, you can change a lot of things let's say you're getting married this year so you can put 2022 July 25th you put the address and I don't know something in Montreal so I'm gonna change probably here in Montreal everything is in French so it's gonna be something like something like that if it was in English you can put like um, Sauvé Street let's say and then in Montreal you know things are like that something like that so this is the address of the place the date since you, this is the invite, you can say something like, what's to follow? So this is the invite, we can say, um, food choice to follow, you know? And I'm going to create an invite with two parts. So this is, let's say, food choice or food choices to follow. 
Or maybe you don't want to put anything and you can take that out. And uh, let's say you don't like the font, you want to change the font, the whole style. What we're gonna do is like we're gonna go here and select a different style, something a little bit more. Okay, so Moon Time is the one that I use, but the difference is mine, I use it a little bit like that. So my invite was on the same side, and um, and also it's quite small. It's like here, I did my invite on one side because I like the style that I had them in. And then you can just, you know, increase your name. You can write something here. Let's say you want to keep the same color, but you want to do some nuance because, like, the this color is kind of like very light. But if you want to change the colors, make it the same kind of colors, but not exactly, you could just go and uh, choose something that's very similar to the color, a little bit brighter. And I think for it to be simpler, we're just gonna like erase this and then write it in the same column. Write it like that. That way it's quite simple. And then you can you can change the color for something a little bit brighter. That make like a contrast between two colors. And then if you want to write some text, because you want to say who is inviting them to the wedding. And add some text so I'm gonna add some text by using uh, the subheading um, uh, subheading here I'll add um, would like to invite uh, to their wedding their marriage I guess Something like that, and then, and then maybe the black look better with the text, so I'll put black, all the text in black, and uh, I would also like to add a reception will follow, so I will just write another subheading here, put it there, right. So I'll use the same uh, type of letters for reception, Lustra and um, Lustria or Lustra. Something like that. Maybe I'll put it there. And then here. Like that, I might change this a little bit and uh, I'm just going to like make this bigger. And so you see this is coming along pretty nicely. I might want to add like a photo of us, of the pair, so if there's like some people who doesn't know us and that's going to be invited to the wedding so they know. If you took any engagement pictures, you might put them here. So I'll go and uh, 
the photo the element here I'll add a wand but you can add anything that you want something like that so you can put a picture of the bride and coin so the invite is looking good but we might want to change the background to add something more more beautiful something more appealing so I'll put like uh, I'll put flower background with flower so I can find like a beautiful flower that's free <laughs> so I can use I could use something like that let's say wait that didn't work something like that you see it's already looking better I'm, I might change the edges to make it a little bit different but something like that it's already quite pretty or I'm gonna still look for something else to see if I can find something better like wait like this is kind of pretty don't you think mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna keep searching for something else something prettier and that's free <laughs> basically because not all of them are free so some of them if you want to use them you need to pay canva for them and um, i'm just gonna see if there's any that's free that's interesting so if you have a pro account so you would have access to all of those flowers all of those uh, pictures and everything This one seems very gorgeous. Let me try it. Uh, okay, so it's already looking better. So you can click on it to move it around to make as much, to take as much as the flower as you want. If you want the flower to be a little bit more present, you can push it all the way in. But I think I like some part of flower in it like that. You see, already beautiful. And now I'll go back to add the picture of uh, your husband or whatever. And I can put this in black also. You can just add a picture of the couple. So to finish the look, I'm adding um, a picture. I'm looking for like a picture on my database, but I decided to go to see if that if I was a picture of my uh, fiance or something else that I could add. But I'm gonna show you exactly how a gorgeous picture, something that you took in your if you did any engagement pictures or like if you have a very gorgeous picture of you too that you want to show to other people you can just put it there something very beautiful and natural so i was looking in the stack pictures to find something like that so this one was very beautiful very simple you can see this as like a real couple <laughs> and i fixed the text a little bit trying to find the perfect position for them because it's clearly something when you take the time to make something for yourself, it clearly shows, it's not like, you can see this look like any other template that you could find on Canva except you made it, you made it your own, you choose exactly the way you wanted, do the pictures that you wanted, that way it's very more personable to you. And so I'm just adding the finishing touch by stretching and see how it's gonna look if I try to print it. And you can just click on the printed and then you see it's pretty simple and you can pay for 50 depending on how much you want it's like 50 50 takes it's less than a dollar it's like 45 Canadian and I wanted to add something in the back so to have like a something in the back where you can really like make it come together it's not one-sided it's double sided I guess and you're gonna see what I did there so I just duplicate the same one that I had and then I'm just gonna delete a couple of things like everything that I don't want and keep the same background picture so that way it's uniform and I'm gonna replace this picture with something else 
with just our initials so that way it look kind of cute you can do the same thing so it's just one way to do it it's multiple way instead of having a circle you could have chose something else a different type of um, background so i'm gonna replace the picture with just the shape so the one shape and uh, i'm gonna add our initials on it so i choose the perfect color also something that go very similarly with the rest of it so i keep it in the same color palette something like pink or i don't even know which color is it's like like a light pink and stuff so i'm adding um our initial l and c for this i you see but you could use whatever like i said initial you want just use the same um the same type of I guess the same I don't know how to call it again the same um, calligraphy I guess that I use for the other one keep it in the same type of genre so it look basically the same just make sure that everything is well centered and then now that everything seems to be fine except I have to change that to make it black I didn't see it then but I have to you have to put like the black um, because I did the other one black so this one have to be black also all initial into the one circle but you can already see the price you have to take a picture if you want something very uh, premium you can pay for that if you want something that people can write on you can also do it I'm gonna show you because I did this part of the invite but I did have also um, a respond paper that I did for my wedding and I'm gonna show you in another video but for now you can see it's very seamless um, sample you, you can see already when you're gonna print it out how it's gonna come out which part of like uh, the cards how it's gonna cut so that's why I really like Canva for those things it show you everything how it's gonna ready to print and last time I purchased with Canva it came like in less than a week I already had my thing so even if you're doing it last minute you still gonna get your um, your invite pretty quickly and so that's when i realized like i didn't choose the white color so i went back and i changed it and i put it back to black so that way it's really something that i could use my wedding invite is basically like this one very simple kind of the same model exactly the same way except we use our pictures and it's in French so it's a little bit different but it's basically easy sample to do so you can just do a PDF if you want to send some people a PDF version of your wedding invite you can also do so and so in the other video that I'm gonna do next week I'm gonna show you exactly how I did uh, for the respond the RSVP so I want to thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one